Hello friends, welcome to our channel. I'm Maya. I'm Sarah. And we are Charmed and Dangerous. Because you know we're charming and what? Dangerous. We dangerous. Happy Scorpio season. Yes. Come in. We it's come in. Sex we out here. here. And in this episode, y'all already know what we're talking about. Reasons to be friends with the signs. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna reaction be a good video. One. Yes, so it's mean a we reaction. didn't make. Yes. Always. We do not make this list. Okay. <laughs> you we're can't just come for us. It's not about us. Okay. Before we get into it, we would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below. We're two besties. We talk about astrology. We talk about dating. We talk about really anything two besties normally talk about. Now we just do it here with you. Mm -hmm. Okay? So <laughs> if you can get down with the vibe, hit that subscribe button. Like I said, now on to the video. Aries is first up, of course. And it says, Aries is the best company you can have. How do you feel about that? I honestly kind of really fuck <laughs> with it because Aries are chaotic. Yeah. I mean, it's my Martian sister. So uh -huh. like when I'm with Aries, I know some shit's going down and they're loyal as fuck. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like if I get yeah. into something, Aries will have my back. Yeah. Aries is a rider. Aries 100%. is a ride or die. You yes. know, Aries and Scorpio are ride or dies. Yes. Truly. Martian energy. Come on. Uh -huh. So I kind of fuck with that. No, I fuck with it too because to me, when I think of Aries energy like and my Aries friends, they are my ride or dies, you yeah. know what I mean? So like, in some ways, yeah, they are the best company to have because if I ever got into something, that's who I would be calling to come help me out anyways. Yeah. You know? Uh-huh. So yes, I fuck with Big this. agree. Okay, Taurus, it says, gives the best gifts. They do give really good gifts. They give really they thoughtful gifts. They give really gifts. thoughtful gifts. And it's, you know what I mean? The second house rules over Taurus, which yes. is the house of personal belongings, and also mm -hmm. like luxury. Right. So like, I feel I like Taurus is, energy. yeah, a really great gift yes. giver. Yes, they're very thoughtful too, you mm -hmm. know? And I feel like the other thing that I wanted to say of why I think there are, you know, reasons to be friends with this sign is they obviously know how to cook a good meal and they will go out to a really fancy meal yeah. too. So if you're a big foodie person, I feel like Taurus is a really good yeah, I also feel like Taurus gives quality gifts. You know Very what I mean? Like gifts. they obviously we talk about we always make fun of how like patient they are <laughs> and how slow they are and like when they make decisions they're slow too, which means they really think about it. Mm -hmm. You know, they're not just like I'll just get them next. Like they really put some thought and effort yes. into it, which is very sweet. No, they really are the best gift givers. Yeah. All right, next is Gemini. And Gemini, it says, can be your partner in crime. Mm, I actually really love that. Yeah, I love that too. Um, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, all you need is one Gemini, and there's already three of you. Right, it's, <laughs> a, it's a whole function. Like, my Gemini, Gemini moon agrees, you know? And I also feel like, again, they're down as fuck. But yes. another one that I would have loved with it is that they'll have a conversation with you about anything. Yes. Like, you really can too. talk to Gemini about everything, and the conversation doesn't ever have to stop. And the cool Facts. thing about Gemini is because they're mutable and they're ruled by Mercury, if you make a point, even though at the beginning of the conversation they didn't agree with you, they can change their mind. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? They have that duality where they're able to see both sides of the situation again. And I really appreciate that about them. Yeah, they're open, which I love, which mm -hmm. makes them good friends. I would have said that they're super funny. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So that's mm -hmm. why I love to be oh, friends with them. Always I'm always dying, joke. cracking up yeah. anytime I'm with a Gemini energy. Like, Keeps me laughing for yeah, days. Yeah, they're pretty fucking funny. <laughs> All right, Cancer, it says, is always available to cuddle with you. Oh my gosh, yes. Yeah, so I mean, cute. they are though. They're always ready to cry. They want to like, <laughs> feel your feelings with you. I feel like they're there to help you like cry and yeah. Yeah, process your feelings. So yeah, they're down for a cuddle. I feel and like I love that, actually, it's love that. when they're in their <laughs> element, actually. Like when they're yeah. taking care of people, they're <laughs> really in their element. And they would never ever judge you for crying. I feel like, you know what, I don't feel comfortable as a water sign, I mean as a Scorpio, just crying in front of everyone. But like, especially like if I'm around Cancer or Pisces, I will let the water work come. And you know, again, <laughs> Cancer will be the one that will, you know, bring a little blanket, I was like, put on your favorite <laughs> movie, that, yeah. what's your favorite dessert. They like coax you into it. Yeah. Like, it's okay. They baby you. you. Yes. And I like to be babied. Come on me. 100%. But you will never hear me saying that to a stranger. Right. Baby me. <laughs> <laughs> I will also say I feel like Cancer also makes really great delicious snacks. Yeah. Which is also another reason why they're great friends. And also great to cuddle with because it's like you want to eat, you want to cuddle. Afterwards, you know? I'm, I'm gonna be honest, cancers are also <laughs> great partner in crimes. Like, all the yeah, cancer friends I've had, like, they're down to get into they're some shit with down. me. Especially if I told them someone hurt me. Oh, oh they're ready. They're As ready to rat. go. Uh huh. <laughs> Next up is Leo, and it says, <laughs> makes you food. I'm sorry, I just have to laugh before you even said, what the fuck is that? What is that? Makes you food? I've never, I don't know. No, my thing is, this no. is why Leo is a great friend. They will hype you up yes. like no other sign. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Again, it's the sun shining on you. 
Leo has very, very high standards when it comes to themselves. And honestly, when it comes to you, if your Leo yeah. friend, partner, parent sees you and they see that you are not putting yourself first, they'll be the ones to be like, what are you doing? Let's go, get your shit together. Like, mm -hmm. stop like, you know what I mean? Laying around here all somber, like, yes. have a good time. Yeah, like, you can do back. better than this, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. They'll hype you up. For sure, no, I love that energy. And I also love them because I feel like they're very giving signs, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? They're very generous. They're so generous. Like, let's say you go out and you don't have like money that time. They're like, oh, I got you, let's yeah. just have a good time. Mm -hmm. Like, they're so friendly and kind and warm and like giving to all of their people. They're you know? so warm. They're I love so I love that about them. That's why I think they're hella good friends. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Alright, next we got Virgo. Virgo. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> it says takes you to the best rush restaurants in town. Okay, I have a problem with this list. Again, if this is your first time watching, we always talk talk about like what we think of the person that created this list. Why do they keep talking about food? Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I can see if like Taurus and Cancer had something to do with food because they're all about like the cozy home yes, feels. But exactly. like, Leo, Virgo, no. No. I would like no. Virgo no. gives the best advice. How about that? Agreed. They keep it real with you. They're very helpful in that way. Like yes. they will help you see everything very from every angle. Oriented. Mm -hmm. If you need somebody to help you move, call up your Virgo. They're yeah. there to help you. They're you reliable. Need to plan something. Virgo's there to help you. Mm -hmm. You need something to be perfect. Your hair ain't looking right. Virgo's yeah. there to let you know about it. <laughs> Absolutely. Honestly, Virgo just gives the best advice. They really like, do. They really do. They really do. Because they're such perfectionists, so they try to look at your situation, your problem, and be like, what is the best solution for this? Right. And it's not always... Okay, I love this about Virgo, too. I feel like a lot of people, when they give advice, they make it about them. Yeah. But Virgo's very good, like you just said, at analyzing your situation and giving the best advice for like what's going on in your life and not Absolutely. making it about them. And that has to do with the fact that they're also private. You know what I mean? They don't feel the need to talk about themselves. Let's keep talking about you. Right. <laughs> Next is Libra, and Libra loves to talk about anything. Yeah, I mean, I agree. They love to talk about anything. I don't know how this will make them the best friend, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like Libra is the one that will create some peace into your life. They know how to resolve conflict really easily. So I feel like if you are stressed, Libra is the one that is making you feel at peace. Yes. You know, they have this aura of peace to them, and no matter what this stressful situation is, your Libra friend being there will make the situation somewhat bearable. I mean, I always say this. I feel like I really can invite Libra anywhere. You know what I mean? They're such a nice energy to mm -hmm. have around in any type of situation. They're so adaptable in every social setting, too. Yes, and that's why I think I love them as friends. Yeah. like, I can take you to a wedding. I can take you to a funeral. I can take you to a family reunion where you know nobody, and Libra will be like, hey, everybody, yeah. and, it's like, and make me feel comfortable in a situation where maybe I don't feel comfortable. Yeah, mm -hmm. I also feel like Libra is the friend that is willing to share their connections with you. Yeah, You know what I mean? Not a lot of people have that energy. Like, mm -hmm. Libra just has so many connections that they don't care if you take one of their connections. Right. They're still winning. <laughs> They're not weird like that. No, you know? that's so true. They're willing to share friends. Yeah, that's so true. Mm -hmm. All right, Scorpio. I had Scorpio. to. Scorpio <laughs> <laughs> is always there for you no matter what. Well, I'm the Scorpio, so you gotta let me know. Am I that kind of friend? You definitely are. <laughs> I was gonna say yes anyway. Yeah, I mean, I thought no. So. I definitely We're feel dice, like yeah. Scorpios are definitely ride or dies, and I love Scorpios as friends because it doesn't matter how dark, how hard, how ugly it is. They're going to be there for you. They will hold your hand. They will tell you it's okay. I still love you. You are still loved through this darkness. Yeah, and that's special because not everybody is down. Yeah, for the dark and scary and the ugly. Yeah, I, I mean, I've always been this way. Like, I just want everyone to feel accepted. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like this world does everything it can to make you feel, you know, sad, insecure, angry for being yourself and like, I've been there, so all I really want to do is make sure the people in my life, even through the ugliest moments, know that they're loved and accepted. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of Scorpios are like that, and the ones that aren't are probably hating themselves right now, which is why they can't be that for other people. Yeah, yeah. But we have it in us. Mm -hmm. Next is Sagittarius, and Sagittarius says, could do anything to see you smile. Mm-hmm. Listen, a satchel will put on a clown outfit for you, you know what I mean? It's okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, anything, like, through anything, my Sag friends, family members can make me laugh. And, like, I love you guys because you don't take them, you don't take yourselves too seriously. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, like, 
depending on the day, sometimes if they're not feeling it, they'll be real serious. They're not too serious. Yeah, but usually because of Jupiter's influence over you guys, you guys Very are positive. so optimistic and yeah. no matter what is happening, you guys are ready to just believe in the best case scenario. And I love that because I can stress over the dumbest shit sometimes and like having Sag energy around me tells me, hey, it's just life, like let it go. Don't take it too seriously. And I love that about you guys. Mm -hmm. I feel like I love Sag too, because like they will see that people are maybe like stressed and they're like, okay, let me let me crack a joke. It's not yeah. always the best joke, I will <laughs> say. Read the room. <laughs> Sometimes we don't know how to read the room and it's bad and the timing is terrible. Yeah. But we will always try and like lighten up the mood. I mean, you know? I love it even when it's awkward because <laughs> I get that dark humor. So yeah. I, I just chuckle in the back while everyone else is ready to cancel. Sag. Feeling awkward. <laughs> like, who is this bitch? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh, don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll just walk around and be like, isn't she so funny? Oh my god. All right, Capricorn. It says, drives you home when you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, I believe Capricorn I will do like this. I, get the I don't think that that's like what makes them the best friend. No. Capricorn is the best friend because they'll treat you like family if they consider you a friend. You know what I mean? They true. want to see you evolve. Again, like Capricorn wants to be respected and that means that anyone they're around is a liability so they make sure that <laughs> yeah. you are the best version of thrive. yourself exactly <laughs> they want to help uplift you and yes. get you to maybe their level sometimes yeah. you know what i mean because capricorn does have very high standards for yeah. themselves you know and they want the best for their friends too you know what i mean so it's like if you want somebody who gives you like that tough love because you know there's love behind it yeah. too, like that's Capricorn. I also feel like they're really good at helping you prioritize your life because yeah. Capricorn hates wasting their time and they know how to prioritize. So having a Capricorn friend or Capricorn placement friend will teach you, hey, what really matters to you? Time to bump that up. Yeah. You know, because they do not apologize for bumping shit down the list. At all. They don't. At all. I love them. I feel like this, this direct thing though drives you home when you're drunk. I feel like they're trying to get at maybe that Capricorn is a responsible yeah, friend. Which they are. Which they're, they are. But that's if you want to watch our lying. video, who's a better mom friend, Cancer or Capricorn, go watch yes. that. Because yes, they it's are responsible goodie. and they will drive you home. <laughs> okay, next is Aquarius. Comes to your house to talk about Freud. What is Freud? Like the philosophy guy, the one who was like, um... With the families and stuff? Uh, no, <laughs> he's, he has like that weird sex philosophy. Yeah, with the families, yeah, how think you so. like people that are like, that I remind you so. of your parents. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sigmund yeah. Freud? Is yeah. that you're talking about? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's him. Uh, okay, like, <laughs> cool. like, I don't know what, that is okay. the weirdest thing ever. I'd be like so specific, like your Aquarius friend will come talk to you about like philosophy. Like, yeah, but that's also not why they're like, a good friend. Yeah, I feel like uh, you know? I feel like Aquarius is a good friend because they will open up your mind. Yeah. I feel like Aquarius ruled by Uranus um, and Saturn, it knows no bounds, right? So they can also show their friends how to live without bounds, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like think outside the box. Yeah. Like, they will never judge you for having a weird idea. Yes. You know? Yeah, like Aquarius doesn't like to follow rules, you know what I mean? So like they're gonna help you break them. They're gonna show you that you don't have to live in the means yeah. of life. And that's mm -hmm. why I think, that's why I like them as friends, you know what yeah. I mean? Because they're kind no of boundaries. inspiring to me in well, that like, way. Sometimes it's like, bad, yeah. <laughs> right. But a right. lot of times it's fun, no boundaries. <laughs> right. <laughs> but it kind of inspires me. I'm like, damn, like, you could just yeah. live however. No, I love Aquarius you know? energy because it's that big fuck you energy. Like, mm -hmm. they don't care about authority and no. like, I really don't care about authority, and then I look at Aquarius, I'm like, you really don't give a fuck about authority, but then again, like, Saturn rules over my first house, so that's probably why too, but I truly love Aqua energy because they don't let anyone talk to them anyway, like, they don't care who you are. Alright, next we got Pisces. It's like, they cared about half these signs, and the other half, they right, gave like it to their five-year-old brother. What do you right. think of this? <laughs> it says Pisces, remembers your birthday. Like, okay, yeah? Sure, but like th is that what makes them a good friend? No, no, I think what makes Pisces a good friend is that they are Patient with your feelings, you know what I mean? Yeah. They allow you to escape with them And I feel like they don't judge you whenever you get into that escape world So like I feel like they take you to a different place Yeah, right? and then if you choose to like say hey, I'm crying today or I'm mad today They're like, okay, well, we're yeah. on this journey with you and yeah. we're like feeling your feelings out with you and I love that I don't know how to like say it in a way that doesn't sound bad, but like they're like the opposite of holding you accountable, but in a good way, you know? <laughs> Again, I don't know how to make this sound like not bad. Cause like, listen, we all need people to 
you to keep us accountable. Like we have Virgo energy right. for that. I'm like Capricorn energy for that. But sometimes you want people who aren't gonna always bring up your shortcomings. Right. That aren't always gonna be like, well, where are you with this? You just want people that are willing to experience life with you. Yeah. And that is Pisces energy. I just and feel I feel like Sag me. energy to me too. Yeah. It's like just mm -hmm. feel with me. Yeah. That's why Pisces is great. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, I guess. They do remember your birthday. But so does most but of these so many. Like that's not specific. Except for Gemini. Gemini is and right. honestly, I feel like that's not even true because like if I had to think I about- Pisces is forgetful. Pisces is so forgetful. Yeah. They don't remember They're La La Land. So you know what? Who made this list? Right. Comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> they love you, so they want to try to remember your birthday. But yeah, like, absolutely. I mean, honestly, right. I think the person that made this list was hungry. Very. <laughs> they were like, my Virgo oh, friend they yeah. gives me food. My Leo friend gives me food. <laughs> Alright, lovely people, thank you for hanging out with us while we discuss this list and whether we <laughs> agreed with it or not. Comment down below with the ones that you agree with or the ones that you don't. We would love to hear it. Yes. And if you didn't know, your girls over here, we got a podcast. Mm -hmm. And on this podcast, it's basically the same vibe as our YouTube. We just get into a little bit more of spirituality, messy celeb gossip really a little bit more about us. Mm -hmm. So if you like our energy, listen to the podcast. And at the end of each YouTube video, we have a question that relates to our YouTube topic that we discuss further in the podcast. Are you ready for this week's question? Yes, she is. Okay, the question is, which one of these would you like to change, as in these reasons for mm -hmm. each sign, and what's the real reason to be friends with that sign, mm. the one that you chose to change? Yes. So if you wanna hear it, Gotta check out the pod. Links are down below. The podcast goes live every Wednesday. YouTube goes live every Monday and Thursday. We're gonna post our socials somewhere over here. We're taking a break for my birthday, but we hey. will be back. We love you guys, <laughs> and we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.